let's look at for loop here we have the syntax for that we begin with the word for and then we specify a variable name and then in after in we specify the name of the table or it could be a select clause and then we specify the word do and after the do we specify a list of statements that we want to work with by using uh, these lines of code after do to work on each row in the table that we have up above in the table expression and then we end the loop by writing end for and semicolon let's look at this example that we have and what we have here is uh, a table that we have selected so let's run this table by itself first and see what output we have uh, let's run this again and see what output we get so we have a table where we have the word and its count and that is uh, let's say that we can access that by the word by the variable name record on down here inside of the do block what we specify is select record dot word which would be this column and this row and then record dot count record dot word counts so this column and this particular row so for each uh, record in this uh, table that we have the do would run the select statement for each particular line in the or each particular row in the table separately so we should get five different select statements run when we uh, execute this for loop so let's see what the results look like and each so that's what we have we have the very first uh, select statement which is inside of this uh, block before the do word that we have and then we have these one two three four uh one two three four five select statements that are inside of this do block before the end for and what uh, as we shall see now that each of these select statement refer to a different word so the first one is l v i i and then we have after that uh, let's look at the second word we have uh augurs augurs and so those would be different five words that would be the same words that we have in this earlier table that was uh, that was accessed by the variable name record that was it for this video i hope in this video you got an intuition about how to use a for loop inside of sql bigquery please like share and subscribe thank you